Okay, so at the at the beginning of the one club section, we uh, explained that a negative response to one club, in other words, normally one diamond, but if we get some interference, it could be a pass or a redouble over the interference, um, or a double or a redouble rather. Uh, so if we get that negative response, bidding thereafter is generally natural and non-forcing. And generally, we don't use asking bids after a one diamond response. Okay, so where delta occurs is very easy because it's only in one situation only, which is that if opener, the one club opener, opens one club, responder makes any bid that says that they've got 0 to 7 high card points i.e. a 1 diamond negative or if there's interference uh, a pass a double or a redouble if opener then jump shifts into a new suit then this is the only situation where delta can occur As I've said there, Delta shows a very, very strong hand. Ostensibly, it's 24 plus. It can be less with big distributional hands. But essentially, it's showing game in opener's hand. In other words, they don't need to have a fit, particularly from partner. They don't need partners have any points at all they've just got game in their own hand that's essentially the requirement um, delta is an asking bid and once delta is used we are in an established asking bid sequence just as if responder had made a positive response over one club Okay, so there's four different hand types that broadly cover um, the sorts of hands that might use delta. Uh, when we looked at two diamond, the two diamond opening, you'll remember that was 16 to 23 high card points with any 4 for 4 one distribution. So 24 plus hands with 4 4 4 one have to use the one club opening. Um, unbalanced hands that are 24 plus would also use it. Very unbalanced hands, i.e. things like distributional two suitors with game going pleasant playing strength despite being a bit less than 24 high card points. Typically those kinds of hands will uh, still have game in their own hand. If you've got say Ace King Queen to six, Ace King Queen to six, and an outside ace. That's only 22 points, but you've still probably got slam in your own hand if partner's got three card support for one of your suits. Um, never mind uh, game. And the last one is any other kind of hand where opener has game in their own hand, regardless of their holdings. But note that none of those are balanced hands because balanced hands we open one club and we use the Cambridge Heart complex to show particular two point ranges if you're that sort of strength okay 19 plus balanced hands use the Cambridge Heart complex or jump in no trumps over the one diamond negative Okay, so delta is the only way in which a one club opener can force an asking bid sequence, a proper asking bid sequence, after a one diamond negative. There are times when we might agree suits naturally um, after a one diamond negative, and we might even then have a high level beta by opener. And then we might even have some epsilons uh, 
after that. But that's slightly different. The only way that opener can force an asking bid sequence immediately over the one diamond negative is by using delta. As I've said there, you've got to consider that responder might have no points and might not have a fit for your hand. So your hand has got to be that good. As I've said there, effectively, once delta is used, we're in an asking bid sequence, and as such, it's game forcing. Exceptionally, the delta bidder might decide to pass a response below game level, but that would be very exceptional. In fact, I've never known it to happen. Um, the only time might be, say, a 24.4441 if it's obvious that Responder has absolutely nothing and we haven't really got a fit for a hand for any of uh, um, Opener's suits. But it's likely that we're going to be at game level by the time that Opener has established that. Delta is pretty rare, um, 20, just because 24 plus hands are pretty rare. Uh, don't be tempted to reduce the, the requirements for Delta too much. Um, just bear in mind that there may be no fit opposite and no points. Um, if you start doing it on just average 18 counts, you're headed for danger. Okay, let's have a, so that's, anybody got any questions about when a bid is delta and the sort of requirements for the hands that use delta? Let me just give you a typical example of the sort of hand that might use delta. That north hand is uh, pretty strong. Okay, so here we had a one club opening, a one diamond negative and then a two spade response. Um, other ways this might go. So here, the double showed clubs, the redouble showed five to seven, a pass would have shown naught to four there, and two spades is still delta. Just to give you yet another example of how this might go. Okay, so here the double showed five to seven, but now we're at the two level already, so to jump shift, opener has to bid three spades, but it's still delta. Even if south passes over two clubs to show naught to four high card points, three spades would still be delta. So after any bid by responder that shows naught to seven high card points, um, then a jump shift by opener 
is still delta. Any questions so far? Okay, let's have a look at the steps for delta in that case. Okay, so this is a little bit different than the, ask, the Trump asking bids that we've looked at so far, uh, which is alpha and gamma. Um, delta is very much more precise in terms of exactly what responder or teller has in the suit. So those three steps there, the one to three step responses, are all what we would think of as negative responses in the sense that they don't agree the suit. So one step shows a void or a small singleton. Two steps shows uh, a singleton on a singleton top on a or too small. Three steps shows a doubleton top on a or three small. So none of those initially agree the suit. Okay, so a four-step or greater response to delta does agree the suit. Uh, four steps shows two top honors doubleton, or three to a top honor. So worth noting at this stage that two top honors doubleton is enough to agree the suit where delta is used, but actually for alpha responses, you wouldn't show that as support. Alpha needs three to one on a or four small. Five step shows four small. Six step shows two top honors and one more small card or four to one top honor. Four step shows two top honors with a four card support. And then five steps shows five or six small sorry, eight steps rather shows five or six small, nine steps shows uh, five to one or six to one top honor, and 10 steps shows six to two top honors or five to two top honors. So you can see there that, for example, if you happen to hit two top honors with a five or six card suit in responder's hand, even though they're naught to seven, that's still possible. Uh, you could have a double a double raise of the suit. So if you gave South here, if you gave them two top honors with a five card uh, spade support, he could be he could be responding five spades over three spades on this sequence. Okay. Um, alrighty. Any questions initially about? the steps, the stepped responses to Delta. I'm just going to undo these and go back to my original version of this. Okay, so four to the jack counts as four small. So that's a single raise of the suit. So now we have spades agreed. Uh, North knows pretty much exactly what South has in the suit. They don't know whether they South has the jack or not. Um, but it's a fairly good bet that he does. Uh, but for most purposes, it doesn't really matter whether he does or not. So we're now in an established asking bid sequence. Trumps have been agreed using Delta. So now North can use Relay Beta. Because 
because it's a major suit that we've agreed, we're never going to want three no trumps to be natural. It's absolutely, Paulie, you're just about to see some as well. Okay? Um, so, uh, three no trumps is relay beta. This, of course, is using the weak beta scale because south is known to be naught to seven. So four diamonds shows uh, one control. And at this point, um, probably South would bid this. Because if South has the king of clubs and not the king of diamonds, which are the only two kings he can possibly have, if he's got the king of clubs rather than the king of diamonds, then probably five spades is the limit of this hand. But if he's got the king of diamonds, essentially we want to be in six. So if South has third round control only of hearts... That might be a doubleton, or it might be three to the queen, or four to the queen. That means they must have the king of diamonds. Okay, so there's an example of Delta in use. Anybody got any questions? I'll learn how to spell questions at some point. Okay, so after delta has been used, we're in an established asking bid sequence. Um, so it's almost exactly as if north had, south had made a positive response, north had used alpha in spades, south agreed spades. And thereafter, the sequence is going to be just the same sort of thing, because we're in an established asking bid sequence. That's what delta achieves for us. Okay. It's unlikely, and it doesn't very often happen, but certainly um, a jump shift into something like four clubs over two hearts uh, with five small is uh, not that uncommon. Bearing in mind that delta, the mere use of delta is not very common. Okay, next week we're going to look at two other asking bids that are very, very similar to Delta. Okay, one is called Theta, and the other one is called Iota. Um, I don't want to go too much into those now. Um, they're both used in different sorts of situations to Delta. Uh, but actually, the responses to Theta are identical to those to Delta. It's only the situations where theta use is used that are radically different and that's why delta gets a different name um, theta is only used after a positive response to one club um, 
and it's what we call a secondary asking bid because in the simple system at any rate uh, it's always preceded by another asking bid whether that's beta or alpha um, theta is never the first asking bid in a sequence that's why it's called a secondary asking bid um, iota is very similar to theta but it uses a slightly contracted scale any bid which would otherwise be theta is iota when um, teller is known to have a balanced hand and essentially what we do with iota is that the first and second stepped responses are combined into one so with delta for example the, the one step response shows a singleton or void and the two step response shows a singleton on a or two small if partners known to be balanced they can't have any of the three that we start with they can't have a singleton of any sort and they can't have a void so if that's why we combine all of those into the one step iota response so one iota basically is one step cheaper than theta the other time when we use iota is when the theta or rather when it's a repeat alpha in a new suit or a repeat theta in a new suit after a negative response to the first alpha or the first theta or indeed to the first delta so as I've said there if delta gets a negative response then an immediate new suit by opener is iota uh, you'll see you'll see iota in detail next week but if you just imagine that essentially with iota the first step response shows less than a top on a doubleton or three small the two-step response shows a top on a or three small three-step response shows uh, two top honors doubleton or three to an honor four-step response shows four small so with iota a three-step response agrees the suit whereas with delta it needs a four-step response any questions so far you're very quiet tonight have you all been taking tranquilizers okay let's uh, give you a quick example of that okay so the sequence we just had was one club one diamond two spades three spades showing four to four with four card spade support but with no top honors uh, if it went one club one diamond two hearts Delta two no trumps would show a singleton honor or a small doubleton because that's Delta and if over two no trumps opener now bid three clubs three diamonds or three spades those bids would be iota in the suit bid okay very important this um, and it's particularly to do with four 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 ones okay as you'll spot from the the way I grouped those responses to Delta um, the responses to Delta and the rules for suit agreements presuppose that you're asking in a five card or longer suit um, if you've got a 24 plus 4441 hand obviously that can cause you a problem but uh, 
so you may sometimes end up agreeing theoretically you could actually agree a suit with two top honors doubleton opposite a four card suit um, so if if that happens then uh, you just have to make the best the best of it that you can uh, you could start doing epsilons and another suit to see if if uh, responder has better support for one of your other suits and then jump shift into that later on if you've got the space but the main thing is uh, if you've got a 24 count 4441 I would be very tempted to devalue it to a two diamond opening I treat it as a 23 count rather than a 24 count particularly because 441 shapes are notoriously poor in playing strength um, a 552 five, suitor is much stronger in playing strength than a 4441. Four, Even 5431 has better playing strength than a 4441. Four, um, with 25 or 26 plus 4441, four, four, you don't really have any option. You just have to use one club and then delta. Um, but with a 24 count, I'd be very tempted to devalue it to a two diamond opening. Okay. Any questions initially on repeat deltas in a different suit, which are iota? Okay. Oh. It's a good point, John. And I mean, obviously, with a 24 plus hand, it's highly likely that you probably do have two top honors in uh, in all of your four card suits it's quite difficult to construct maybe with a singleton ace in your singleton suit you might end up with one suit that's fairly weak um, but uh, you could still be stuck in a motion fit though you could still get a response that shows three to one top honor and that would agree the suit even though you've only got a 4-3 fit. But uh, as you'll find when uh, we're going through other aspects of OCP, uh, one of the things I try and do is to actually cure everybody of their fear of motion fits, because they can be very useful sometimes. Um, OK. Uh, Right, let's have a look at repeat deltas in the same suit. Okay, so there are two there are two responses, the five and seven step responses to delta, which only show one particular thing. So the five step response shows four small, and the seven step response shows four to two top honors. Every other response shows two possible alternatives. One of which is always shorter than the other. So if we get at least a four-step response, oh, sorry, if we get a response to delta, then an immediate repeat of the delta suit below game level is a repeat delta asking for clarification of which of those two alternatives teller has in that suit the shorter of the two alternatives is always shown with a one step response and the longer is two steps even if the initial response to delta was a negative response, even if it showed singleton or void. Any use of a repeat delta below game level in that suit is uh, setting the suit as trumps. So, for example, if this sequence here went one club, one diamond, two spades, two no trumps, which would be a singleton or void in spades. And north then bid three spades. 
that would be, and even if it goes three spades, three no trumps, showing a void spade, that agrees the suitor's trumps. Because the three, the repeat delta sets the suitor's trumps. North might have an enormous spade suit with ace, king, queen, jack to eight, for example. And he doesn't care if south is void in spades. Setting the suitor's trumps then means that he can start using epsilons to find out whether responder has anything else elsewhere that's going to be of use to him. Okay, so that's a repeat delta in the same suit. If, if we got a five or seven step response to the initial delta, where there's only one possible holding that uh, responder can have, then the repeat delta below game level relates solely to whether or not responder has the jack of the suit. So, for example, uh, here we wouldn't have enough room for a repeat delta um, below game level. In fact, it's very rare that you will. Um, so, uh, in fact, without interference over the delta ask, it's almost impossible for that to be the case. If you imagine, even with uh, one club, one diamond, two hearts, a three heart response that showed four small would mean that four hearts would be at game level. And so there's a good chance that responder is just going to treat it as a sign off. But more on that in a minute. OK, so again, if we do have a situation where there is a repeat below game level, then... Uh, one step would deny the jack and two steps would promise it. Okay. Despite what I've just said, responder might bid Delta at game, uh, sorry, Delta at the two level, as here, get a five-step response, and uh, then North bids four spades, perhaps. If Responder has a maximum seven count, and a good seven count, in other words, perhaps they've got the jack of spades, They've got a singleton somewhere. They've got maybe an ace um, outside the trump suit, um, you know, and a queen as well, uh, or, a, a, you know, another jack. Uh, they should bear in mind that if opener is 24 plus and they've got a seven count, actually slam is a pretty good prospect here. And so even if the repeat delta is actually looks like a sign off at game level if they have got that maximum seven count with with a good responding hand they ought to actually treat it as a repeat delta and respond as if it was and it's obvious then to the person doing the asking that actually responder does have a maximum hand um, They've got some values, so they're treating the repeat, the, the bid of the agreed suit at the four level as a repeat delta. If Teller really says they're not interested, they can sign off at the five level. Um, it's never going to be the case that the repeat delta response is going to go beyond the five level in the agreed suit. Um, if they do that, then responder just has to go quietly. They can't insist on playing at slam level. But uh, worth bearing in mind, if your maximum, um, or even a near maximum here, if North uh, 
for example, bid four spades over three spades here, South would be justified in treating that as a repeat delta and bidding uh, over four spades, they would bid five clubs to promise the jack of spades. And North would then know that they had a six or seven count. Um, and then they might uh, ask about diamonds rather than spades, rather than clubs rather. So they'd make a, um, or they might start Q bidding. It depends on your partnership style, to be honest, because really, if uh, but if we treat if we treat the four spades as a repeat delta, then essentially the asking bid sequence is still alive. So actually, four di five diamonds over five clubs would be relay beta. Five hearts would show. Uh, uh, sorry. Five spades, rather, would show one control rather than no controls. And now North would just have to take a chance on it and bid six spades or sign off in five spades or pass five spades if they didn't fancy it with only uh, one control opposite. Obviously, if South showed two controls, they'd be quite happy bidding six. Um, whether South has got the ace of uh, clubs or the king of diamonds, and the king of clubs, it doesn't matter. Six is probably the limit of the hand because there's very little chance of them having the ace of clubs and the king of diamonds. Okay, any questions on uh, repeat deltas and repeat deltas at game level where they might be a sign-off but responder treats them as a repeat delta rather than a sign-off? OK. OK, supposing different hand, ignore the hand that South actually has here um, and ignore the hand that North has here, for example. Supposing it goes uh, one club, one diamond, two spades, and then perhaps three clubs from South showing a singleton honor or two small. And then North bids four spades over three clubs. That's a jump shift to game level. That can't be a repeat delta. It's just saying, OK, I hear what you've got. We'll play in four spades. In other words, they've obviously got a long, strong spade suit. Um, but in view of the negative response, they've decided not to try and go past game level. It may be, for example, that they've got an, a second suit that they think they need to rough. And because uh, responders only got a maximum of two of the suit, that they might have to, they might not be able to rough it on trump leads. And so they decide to go quietly. So a jump shift to game level is not a repeat delta ever. OK, so that first example there, we have one club, one diamond, two spades, delta. A three club response showing a singleton top honor or two small. Three spades is a repeat delta in the same suit. So it is just a repeat delta, not iota. That asks, have you got singleton honor or two small? And now four clubs would show two small in spades. If opener now bids four spades, that is just to play. As before, if responders maximum and uh, not so much in that kind of a sequence, because it may be that really responders trump support actually isn't good enough. Um, but uh, potentially, um, responder can continue over the sign off in that sort of circumstances if they really think they're justified. They could just qubit an ace if they've got one. Um, take the second example, one club, one diamond, two hearts, um, 
three clubs showing Doubleton top honor or three small. Three hearts repeat delta. Three spades showed a top honor Doubleton. Same sort of thing applies. Remember, a re repeat delta in the same suit always sets the suit as trumps. Okay, so two other examples here which are slightly different. In the first one, we've got one club, one diamond, jump shift to three clubs, which is delta, three spades showing uh, top on a doubleton or three small, and then a jump to five clubs. That's always to play, ostensibly. Again, responder can continue if they feel justified, given that the, the three club bid is showing a 24 plus hand ostensibly. Um, and if they do, then it's natural. It's not a response as if five clubs was a repeat delta. If responder continues over five clubs in that sequence, it's just Q bidding. Similarly, uh, the last example there was one club, one diamond, two hearts, Three diamonds showing two top honours, doubleton, or three to a top honour. In other words, agreeing hearts. If, if opener bids five hearts now over three diamonds, that's just invitational to six hearts. So it's saying, okay, I hear what you've got. I hear you've got some heart support here. Outside that, have you got a bit more or not? So if if opener, sorry, if responder just had three to a top honor and nothing else, no shortage, uh, nothing else to recommend their hand, then they'd probably pass five hearts. If they had a shortage somewhere or they had some points outside the trump suit, then they might bid six. Okay, any questions about repeat deltas? Okay, so don't forget that we are, Delta does put us in an established asking with sequence. If therefore Delta gets a four step response, which agrees the suit, or any response after a peak Delta in the same suit, then the suit is considered agreed as trumped. And so a relay in the next suit up not the trump suit, not no trumps if it's a minor, will be a relay B to ask. Okay, any questions? As I said, it's a fairly, fairly easy week this week because Delta only appears in one situation uh, you may not remember this, the full scale for Delta, but you will find, because Delta, Theta, and Iota are very similar, that actually you will pick up that scale very quickly, especially after next week, um, where we're looking at the same kinds of scales. Uh, any questions on Delta? Okay. Come on, guys, don't be shy. I think most of you here have been through this course before, not all. Um, Be nice to see some of the people who are going through the course really for the first time or who aren't that confident with uh, the asking bids 
be nice to see them sitting, but at the end of the day, they can learn just as much by watching if they're not confident enough to sit. So I'll take anybody sitting. Um, Yeah, I did. I did it here. No, I didn't. I'm now getting barracked by my wife. <laughs> no, I don't speak everything. Some of it I do in text. Come on, guys. Three more, please. I don't want to spend... Uh, we've got a chance to get a decent number of uh, practice hands in today because it's only 10 to 10. Two more, please. Thanks, Malcolm and uh, Paula. And Esther, one more. Oh, the two girls sitting north-south. That's a danger sign for east-west. Can we have a west, please? Thank you, John. I can always rely on you. So we got the guys against the gals. Oh, this should be fun. Uh, okay, I'm just going to set the convention cards because you might find this helpful um, particularly for those kibitzing but again please please try and alert manually yes I, you're probably right John <laughs> um, please try and alert manually Okay, I know Delta is going to give the explanations, but please try and get into the habit of alerting manually because there are mistakes in full disclosure. Um, there is shortly going to become none at all, Paula. I thought you'd got that sorted out last week. Oops. Okay, I'd be grateful if there's somebody else who's kibitzing, if there's something I'm trying to say to Paula, because I might not remember that she's not got voice, if they can just text her stuff that I say that's important uh, it'll speed things up a little bit if I've got to type everything out it's going to take ages to do these example hands okay try this one Alert, alert, alert. Get into the habit of alerting. Thank you.
Need to alert four diamonds, uh, Malcolm. Malcolm has a minimalist approach to alerting. You sure about four no trumps, John? That looks like second round control to me. John? <laughs> no, nah, just testing. You were just testing us, weren't you, John? We had your bath, yeah? No. Okay. It's a Taj, I can do it at 11 o'clock, they're on until 12. If you get me the, if you get me the, the thing. Come on, Malcolm, how long does it take to type ask C in the alert box for five clubs? Thank you. No, I'm not. No, it's not. Superlative sequence. Well done, guys. Um, can we have a, a lead and a claim so that everybody can see the hands? Okay, very nicely done, Malcolm. And John, well done. Okay, so here we had two hearts delta, three hearts showing four small, Malcolm decided correctly, I think, not to bother with beta because any controls that West has in spades are completely useless to him. He really is wanting to find out about what West has in diamonds and clubs. <coughs> correctly asked in diamonds first. So four diamonds was epsilon in diamonds. Four spades showed third round control. Five clubs was Epsilon in spades, and that was safe, because if uh, West only had third round control of clubs, you could still play this in five hearts, which would be pretty safe. It's only when West has second round or better control of clubs that uh, the bidding's going to go past five hearts. Five spades showed second round control and six hearts is to play. Very nice sequence, guys. Well done. Any questions, anybody? Okay, let's try another one.
Paul has nearly Paul has nearly fallen off her chair. Paul is doing this very nicely. This is looking like a Rembrandt. Superb. Well done, uh, Esther and Paula. Okay, a couple of quite important points here. <coughs> and again, I'd be grateful if somebody could relay them to Paula while I'm talking. Uh, Paula's here got a, a 4 for 4 one hand. No chance of devaluing this to a 2 dharma dome because you've got a 28 count. That's far too strong. Um, so the first question is, which suit does Paula ask in? And correctly, she chose her highest ranking four card suit. Pretty much essential that you do that, even if it looks more expensive to start with. Two hearts would look a little bit cheaper. The thing to remember is that if you get a negative response to your delta, it gives you the maximum chance of being able to make a repeat delta, in other words, iota, in your second suit at the next bidding level. Okay? If two spades gets a negative response, it's going to be two no trumps, three clubs or three diamonds. It means that she can make her iota in hearts if she has to. And if that gets a negative response, she's going to be able to make uh, 
an iota in diamonds at the four level. So she can actually end up asking in all three suits potentially before she gives up um, to try and get a fit somewhere. Okay? So although it looks most expensive, uh, ask in your highest ranking suit first when you've got a 4441. Uh, so two spades got a three no trump response that showed uh, four to a top honor. Didn't really need to look for a, a repeat delta there in the same suit. And it would have been at game level if it had, so ambiguous. So Paula went to four diamonds, forgetting about uh, relay beta. And I quite agree, that's the right thing to do. Um, even if North has got the king of clubs, that's not really significantly going to help South. The critical thing really is what North has in diamonds. So four diamonds was epsilon, four spades showed third round control, five diamonds was a repeat epsilon in diamonds, five no trump showed exactly queen x in diamonds, and now Paula can see 13 tricks because if uh, even if North has got four small hearts, that will usually play for four tricks unless there's a 4-0 uh, split. And even if uh, that is the case, Paul is potentially going to get two discards on the diamonds to get rid of uh, an additional heart loser in the North hand, if there is one. Okay. Um, and South is obviously going to rough clubs in their own hand. Any questions? Or comments or observations? Okay, moving on. This, is a, this West hand, by the way, is a very good example of a very distributional hand with less than 24 points where the use of delta is absolutely mandatory because the playing strength of this hand is so enormous that West pretty much has slam in his own hand um, if East has got even a modicum of support for either of his suits. West does have a bit of a decision to make here as to which suit to ask in first. I would choose hearts here first. Um, I know the clubs are longer, but it's three bids cheaper.
Are you going to bid, Paula? Now John has another decision. Okay, so this is Iota. If you stop there a second, John. Okay, so with Iota, a, a four-step response, which is what three no trumps is, is showing the same as a five-step response to Delta because it's contracted by, by one bid, the, the scales for IOTA. So three no trumps here agrees the suitor's trumps. Um, even a three spade bid here would, would agree the suitor's trumps. So now we've got clubs agreed. Well done. Okay, uh, can we have a lead and a claim, please? Exactly. In practice, you won't even have to do that. You only have to rough, rough one of them. Right, with... Uh, John knows that uh, East has two small hearts. They can't have a singleton honour. And uh, knows that they've got four small clubs. So even on a 2-0 club split, they're going to have two clubs in the East hand on which they can rough. He can rough the two losing hearts. No point in asking anything else. It doesn't matter what East has in spades or diamonds. Um, you can just count. 13 top tricks in clubs. So, there were some questions or some options for John there. He could have bid three hearts over two no trumps to, to see if East had two hearts rather than... Well, he knew that East had two hearts. But much, much better to go after the club, uh, the club suit first. Um, he could have agreed three hearts, hearts with three hearts, and then made an epsilon in clubs and still ended up in seven clubs. But much better to make the iota in hearts, in clubs rather, and then uh, um, because he knew essentially exactly what East had in hearts. Didn't know if he had the jack or not. But the critical thing is how much club support East had. Okay, any questions? So there's a nice 24-point uh, Grand Slam for you that can be bid with absolute confidence. Okay, moving on.
obviously nothing worth finessing there, John. <laughs> Okay, so here, two spades delta, three clubs showing the singleton top honour or two small. Now, we know that Esther knows exactly what South has. And the sort of mistake a lot of people think is that, therefore, because North knows that they want to agree spades, that South must know. And, of course, that's not the true North has to bid three spades, even though they know what the response is going to be, in order to get the suit agreed according to the rules for asking bids, so that all the other asking bids can follow. So three spades does set spades as trumps. Four clubs shows a doubleton rather than a singleton top honour, and now spades are agreed. So here, four diamonds would be relay beta. Hint, hint. Again, we're using the weak scale here because south is known to be 0 to 7. So I know. Mm, no, one more, Paula. Just wait for uh, Paula to undo. So, yeah, don't forget, guys, that any repeat delta sets the suit as trumps. So whatever the response, a relay in a new suit over the uh, um, the repeat delta response is going to be relay beta. Four no trumps showed two controls. Because North has got three kings, that has to be one of the missing aces. Can't possibly have both, so easy six spades by Esther. Well done. Can we have a claim, please?
Okay, very nicely done. Uh, we'll give the boys another turn. I think honours even so far. <laughs> yeah. Actually, sorry, John, forget this one. This one predates the changes to the positive uh, 444 ones. Um, we'll give the girls another go. You'll get your turn in a minute. Sorry about that. Okay, if you think about uh, what I said about having game in your own hand, pretty much South has got four spades in their own hand here. They might lose a diamond uh, and a heart, but it's very, very unlikely they're going to lose more than one spade, even if North has uh, a void spade. They're going to be unlucky. To find a, a split worse than uh, four two, so that uh, twenty two counts definitely worth a delta. So again, three spades necessary to set the suitors' trumps. Yeehaw! That's exactly what Paula wanted to hear, really. I know Paula can't hear me, but this is another case where really relay beta is a waste of time because controls that South has in clubs will only probably take care of maybe one loser in the north hand in the south hand really much more important to make the epsilon asks in hearts and diamonds so third round control of hearts is what south wanted to hear but really we need to know what kind of third round control north has because given that they've got Ah, you see. I think Paula missed a trick here because Thanks for that, Paul. Ah, uh, John, rather. Uh, six di six diamonds. Esther Well, it might be, John, if she bids it. Okay, some important points here. And again, I'd be grateful if somebody could relay the nub of what I'm saying to Paula by text. Okay, I think Paula missed a trick here. Um... And, and Esther re... Yeah, lucky. Esther misbid six diamonds. Um, 
okay so it was everything was fine up to the four node right well the, that's the point is Okay, let's let's take some possibilities once over the four no trump bid here. Okay, four no trump shows third round control. If it's a doubleton rather than the queen, then which isn't impossible, then South is going to need to rough that heart in the north hand. But we know that North has only got a singleton queen of hearts from the three no trump bid so on a trump lead that ability to to rough a third round of hearts is going to go so it's actually quite important to establish what kind of third round control north has well no i think exactly right paula uh yes Okay, so five hearts over four no trumps is better. Okay, because five hearts actually ends up telling you that North has got four card hearts with the queen and the jack. And now you do know to bid seven spades. Because you know that not only is the losing heart going away on the queen of hearts, but the losing diamond is going away on the jack of hearts so you can legitimately bid seven spades if supposing uh, north bids <laughs> okay you're right okay with a stiff queen of spades it's not impossible that uh, it, it's unlikely that North will have only two hearts. You'd be unlucky, but it's not impossible. Clearly, if South's got it, if North's got a minor two suitor, nothing you've bid, nothing that you've got. Hmm. Okay, you can't make assumptions here better to nail it down um, the other thing to bear in mind is that if if four if five hearts gets for example well because <sighs> Esther you need five hearts to establish what kind of third round control north has in hearts if say north just bids um five no trumps over five hearts okay then you know that north has got queen to three hearts and the diamond is still an issue and now you can bid six diamonds to find out whether maybe they've got third round control of diamonds and there's still space to do that because if North has only got three small diamonds as they do they're going to bid six hearts and you can just comfortably play in six spades and you know that six spades is safe you're only going to go past six spades when uh, you know that actually seven is right that's why five hearts over four no trumps is the right bid okay Esther Okay. All righty. Um, let's try another one. Anybody got in, any more questions about that one, by the way? That's quite an instructive hand in terms of crafting the asking bid sequence. Um, uh, hang on a second.
Oh, I know. Hang on a second. Yeah, I realised that Esther when you when you bid six diamonds, but uh, you were probably expecting a five heart rebid. Okay, well done anyway. Um, okay, another one. This will give the boys some fun. Back in a minute, guys. This is interesting. Look. Was that all for your nails? <laughs> Uh, Naomi was clawing her leg yesterday. She got grievous wounds. Okay, thank you, Paula, for putting the cat among the pigs in with your two spades. Good example of what can happen, though. This is a very illustrative hand, actually. The way the bidding's gone.
John, have you got a practice tomorrow? Yes, everybody, practice tomorrow. Uh, it'll be, I think, 5 p.m. EDT. Don't forget, I'm going to mention this later on, that the clocks in Europe go forward tonight. So if you're in Europe, not in the UK, in fact, if you, even if you are in the UK, if you're in Europe, uh, the apparent time of the session next week will change. So from now on, it's uh, 9 p.m. UTC, 9, 9 p.m. UTC, 10 p.m. UK, 5 p.m. EDT. Sorry, what did you say, Naomi? Yes, we are, but most places in Europe use daylight savings. I'm just, I'm just loving this sequence. Okay, can we have a... <laughs> so I've got to laugh at this sequence. Can we have a claim, please? Again, I'd be grateful if uh, somebody could relay some of this, some of this to Paula. Once you can see the hands. Okay, two things. Oh, sorry, more than two things here. Uh, uh, in some ways, that two spade bid was was quite useful, although it meant that a delta was awkward. Um, Strictly speaking, deltas at game level are totally possible. Okay. Um, John decided to double over two spades, maybe thinking that because a delta in hearts would be at, at game level, i.e. four hearts, that it might be treated as a sign-off. Strictly speaking, it shouldn't be treated as a sign-off because if John just had hearts, they could bid three hearts over two spades. And that would just be a natural bid in hearts. So really, four hearts is still delta despite the fact that it's at game level. It's repeat deltas at game level that are potentially viewed as a sign-off. Okay, John. So actually, you could have bid four hearts delta over two spades. Given the double, and I, I can understand your reasoning, um, what is two no trumps? Well, two no trumps is leaven soul. I know that's not how Malcolm intended it because he alerted it as natural. But actually, uh, two no trumps is Levensol asking West to bid three clubs, and now East is going to bid something. Um, okay, so over two no trumps, what does West do? If they bid three clubs, East might have passed it if West is taking it as Levensol. And so John bid three spades as a sort of general strong Q bid of spades, which is fine. East bid three no chump saying, yes, I really actually have got a spade stop. <laughs> and now John still 
shying away from bidding hearts because he didn't want East to pass, bid four clubs as a Q bid. Although really it's showing a suit this with a really strong hand. Five clubs agreed clubs uh, and was natural. And John eventually <laughs> decided to bid six hearts. Uh, even though six hearts can potentially go off on a diamond rough. Uh, it's just lucky. In fact, it can go off on a spade rough as well. On a diamond lead uh, by north. It could potentially go off if south had seven spades rather than six. And north was void in spades. As it happens, east west are lucky and six hearts is making. Okay, anybody got any questions about this sequence? Um, uh, it's tough. Really, without the two spade bid, it would have gone one club, one diamond, two hearts delta, two spades from east showing a singleton uh, or void in, in hearts. Yeah. And now West would bid three diamonds, which would be Iota in diamonds. And now you'd get something like a four no Trump response showing five small, uh, five or six small diamonds. Now five clubs would be relay beta. Five hearts would show one control. And so West would know that the Ace of Diamonds is missing. In fact, they knew that anyway because of the 4 no Trump bid. Um, and nothing's going to get round that. So they just sign off in six diamonds over 4 no Trumps normally. Okay, any questions about how the sequence would have been without two spades or how the sequence went with the two spade bid by South? Okay, so the thing to take, take away from that hand, as I said before, is that delta can delta can be at game level, and it would still be delta. And okay, it would have inconvenienced east west, um, but if it went. Uh, one club, one diamond, two spades from south, four hearts. You'd have had four spades from east showing singleton or void heart. Now five diamonds. Unlucky. Um, but west might have bid six diamonds over four spades on the basis that um, with a singleton or void in hearts, it's highly likely that East is going to have some kind of a diamond fit, especially given the two spade bid from south. And that would have been a justifiable approach to take. OK, any more questions or points or comments or issues anybody has? OK. Yep. Four diamonds, five uh, yeah, five diamonds, six no trumps or something. The trouble is, John, is that five diamonds over four spades is at game level. And East with a weak hand, which they did have, and they would discount their um, King of Spades to, to a considerable extent, might decide that um, five diamonds was enough. And so they might actually just pass it rather than treating it as Iota because it's at game level.
but hopefully they would just bid six diamonds. So you enjoy your bath? Right. Another illustrative hand. Esther deep in the tank. What are you thinking about, uh, Esther? What's going through your head? Where is South One Control? Yeah, has to be in clubs. This is a bit of a trick hand, I'm afraid. I do apologise, Esther. Do you want to try bidding it again, Esther? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, can we uh, claim, please? You are actually going to make 12 tricks here. Okay, can uh, 
now that you can all see North's hand, can you think of another way that North could have bid this? Okay, so personally, I would be rebidding three no trumps with the north hand over one diamond. I wouldn't be bothering with delta here. Don't forget that over the uh, Cambridge Heart Complex uh, and the two no trump and three no trump rebids, we definitely have puppet stamen. So if... Uh, South wants they can find out about five card majors in the north hand. The other alternative for South, knowing that um, north is 26 to 27 balanced, South is now definitely thinking in terms of a slam, and you'd probably get a transfer to clubs, and South would actually take charge of the hand. So it might go. One club, one diamond, three no trumps, four spades, transfer to clubs, four no trumps, good support for clubs, and now probably six diamonds, six clubs from uh, south, just on general principles. And six clubs is clearly a better slam than six spades. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, time for one more. Okay, so here three hearts is delta.
Um, okay, good point, uh, everybody. Just wait till they finish the bidding, and uh, we've had a lead and a, a claim. No, I said it can be treated. It is a sign-off, potentially. But if West is maximum for their 0 to 4, they can. I don't think I would have. I think I would have passed four hearts here, personally. I think West has got entirely too many spades. to be thinking that their king of spades is really going to be um, carrying its full weight. There's a chance of a spade rough in the north hand. Um, I'm not sure personally that I would have treated four hearts as a repeat delta. But it's, it's up to John to decide. Okay, um, so I mean, I four hearts is ambiguous. It can be, it can because it's a repeat uh, delta at game level. Um, it is open to John to treat it as a repeat delta if he wants, and he did so. It would be perfectly permissible, I think, with that west hand to pass four hearts. Um, four no chump showing two small hearts and he's decided to take the chance and that's fair enough I think I would have probably gone for four diamonds over three no trumps to ask in diamonds uh, on the basis that knowing West either had a singleton ace or two small in hearts I would still be wanting to play in six hearts or six diamonds, whichever West preferred. Four diamonds is going to get something like a five no trump response to show five small. And now it's obvious to play in six diamonds rather than six hearts. Okay. Yes, I mean, John, sorry, just going back to your point about maybe bidding five hearts. Um, <coughs> yes, you could. Um, you could have bid five hearts just to show a general invitation to six. Um, but in some respects, four no trumps is better because it achieves the same result as five hearts, but it's a bit cheaper and it allows East the chance of doing something else. I mean, for example... East could have bid six diamonds over four no trumps. And that would be pick a slam, basically. Um, <coughs> saying, you know, if you really want to play in hearts, we'll play in hearts. Actually, I've got a big diamond suit as well. If you want to play in six diamonds, rather than six hearts, we'll play there. 
and that would have been better, I think, than Six Hearts, personally. Um, the trouble is, if you bid five hearts, six diamonds doesn't quite carry the same idea. Um, it's easy enough over four no trumps. It's not quite so clear over over five hearts what six diamonds is. You got my point, John. Anyway. I'm not quite sure what you mean, John, to be honest. Um, when you say self-correct, you mean five hearts over four no, or passing five hearts, or four hearts is a sign-off, unless you've got a maximum for your naught to four and something else. So when you bid four no trumps, that is showing that. Because you're now treating four hearts as a repeat iota, sorry, a repeat delta, rather than a sign-off. Bearing in mind, opener here knows you're naught to four because of the pass over one spade. Well, that's fine. Yes, I mean, that would show that four hearts really was a sign-off and they're not interested in more. And they can pass five hearts. What I was getting at is that on this particular hand, actually, four no trumps really does work out better than five hearts because over four no trumps, six diamonds is clearly pick a slam, pick a red suit. And you have absolutely no problem in passing six diamonds. Whereas if you... Nebulous to me, four hearts not to pass when... Sin is of at least not to four. Can't decide to continue. Mm. Can somebody interpret that for me? I'm not quite sure what she's meaning there. Uh, what I was going to say, John, as I said before, is is that over, if it goes, f okay, if four hearts gets a five heart response, which is clearly not treating four hearts as a sign off but saying hey I know four hearts was a sign off but actually yes yes they can John you're absolutely right they can and that would be that would be a uh, an iota in diamonds and that is better than four hearts I think Um, and, th and that is what I would have bid. But given the four heart bid, the point is, do you treat it as a sign off or do you treat it as repeat, uh, a repeat delta? I think you're, it's arguable with your hand as to whether you're justified in treating it as a repeat delta. But if you decide it, and it is up to you to decide what to do, um, uh, and given you four count opposite 26 to 27, I think it's, you know, on that basis, you can justify it. Um, no, yes, Paul, here, hang on.
Okay, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if Paul is getting what I'm saying or not. Okay, four hearts is a sign off here. Alright guys, listen, I need to go and uh, order my dinner. Um, so I think we're going to leave it there if you don't mind.